Sharpening the Mind, A Journey into Critical Thinking. Welcome, dear listeners, to another episode of Information for Life, Insights and Ideas to Navigate Your World. Today, we embark on a journey, an exploration into the realm of our minds, our focus, honing the fine art of critical thinking. This skill, unlike a mere function of the brain, is more akin to the blood that pulses through our veins, vivifying our perceptions, decisions, and interactions with the world. The essence of critical thinking. Critical thinking, you see, is the very marrow of intellectual life. It is not about accumulating facts and knowledge. Rather, it is the process of methodically analyzing, understanding, and evaluating our thoughts, thereby influencing our beliefs and actions. In the stark, luminous light of critical thinking, we scrutinize the tapestry of our perceptions and the narratives we build, separating the strands of fact from the threads of assumption. Consider it like this. It's as if we're in a boxing ring with our own thoughts, dancing around them, jabbing with pointed questions, ducking under false assumptions, and always on guard for the surprise right hook of bias. This intellectual sparring shapes us, carves us into sharper versions of ourselves, and endows us with the agility to navigate the world with acumen and wisdom. The Importance of Critical Thinking The value of critical thinking is irrefutable. It helps us to evaluate information objectively to discern the difference between sense and nonsense, and to make informed decisions. As an increasingly complex and contentious world bombards us with information and misinformation, the ability to think critically has never been more crucial. Consider how the eruption of information, news, data, opinions, is incessantly unleashed upon us, like the torrential downpour of a thunderstorm. Without the umbrella of critical thinking, we become drenched in this deluge, lost, confused, and susceptible to manipulation. With it, we can discern, shield ourselves, and stay dry amidst the storm of excess information. How to hone your critical thinking skills. Now, if you're wondering how to foster this valuable skill, know that it is not a complex riddle, but rather a craft that can be honed and polished with effort and discipline. Let us delve into how we can sculpt our minds to become more proficient critical thinkers. Question assumptions. The first step towards critical thinking is to question your assumptions, to scrutinize the foundation upon which you've built your beliefs. This isn't to suggest that everything you believe is wrong. Instead, it's about examining those beliefs, like a jeweler scrutinizing a diamond, ensuring they're not merely crystallized versions of unfounded assumptions or unverified information. Seek diverse perspectives. By immersing ourselves in a diversity of perspectives, we challenge our own views confront our biases, and often come to see the world in a new light. This exploration is like a meandering river, carving its way through the landscape, continually reshaped by the very topography it alters. Evaluate information objectively. The strength of critical thinking lies in its objectivity. We must learn to dispassionately evaluate information, as a scientist would a specimen under a microscope, without allowing our emotions or biases to color our judgment. To master this, it can be helpful to engage in exercises that require us to evaluate different viewpoints objectively, such as participating in debate or discussion groups. Reflect and self-correct. The journey towards honing critical thinking is one of continual reflection and self-correction. It's about looking back at our past beliefs, decisions, and actions with a critical eye, identifying where we may have erred, and then using these insights to improve our future thinking. Keep learning. An essential aspect of critical thinking is the understanding that our learning is never complete. We must continually feed our minds with new knowledge, ideas, and experiences. Think of your mind as a garden. It must be regularly tended to, nurtured with fresh seeds of information, watered with diverse viewpoints, and pruned of biases and fallacies to truly flourish. Cultivate intellectual humility. We must nurture intellectual humility, acknowledging that we don't know everything and that our understanding and beliefs can and should evolve over time. This humility is like the soft, gentle glow of twilight, bringing with it the promise of a new dawn, an enhanced understanding, and a deeper wisdom. Foster a healthy skepticism. While critical thinking does not equate to cynicism, a healthy degree of skepticism can be beneficial. It is the discerning eye that distinguishes the fake from the real, the truth from the untruth. But this skepticism must be tempered with open-mindedness, for too much of it can make us dismissive and close us off to novel ideas and perspectives. 
Practice logical reasoning. Logic is the backbone of critical thinking. By honing our logical reasoning skills, we can ensure that our beliefs and conclusions are well-grounded and sound. To foster this, one can engage in activities that require logical reasoning, like puzzles and games, or studying subjects that involve logic, like math or philosophy. Be curious. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, cultivate curiosity. This is the vital spark that kindles the flame of critical thinking. Curiosity drives us to explore, to question, to understand, and to continually strive for deeper knowledge and wisdom. In the grand tapestry of existence, critical thinking is not just a thread that weaves through it, but rather the loom upon which the entire tapestry is woven. It provides the structure and the design, the pattern, and the palette. By honing this skill, we can better navigate our world, make informed decisions, and truly engage with the richness and complexity of life. So listeners, as we journey through this wondrous, perplexing, and ever-evolving world, let us strive to hone our critical thinking skills. Let us question, analyze, evaluate, and reflect. Let us learn, adapt, and grow. For it is through this crucible of intellectual rigor that we can truly understand our world and our place within it. Until the next time we meet on this journey of understanding and discovery, stay curious, stay critical, and above all, stay engaged.